It's Falcon Alley Squawk Time, where we listen to the Falcons talk. Happy Wonder Woman weekend, Falcon fans. Yes, I have a Wonder Woman shirt that also has a Falcon on it. Who doesn't have that? Headed out to yet another movie, but I uh, wanted to drop you guys a couple lines before I head out. So, Ryan Poole was headed into the branch this morning for the last day of this week's OTAs, and he was happy and ready to work. Sanu was recording Who, then Turbo, practicing their one-footed catches, which is rifling balls to them while they're standing on a block with, again, one foot lifted in the air, which was really great watching them work on their balance. It's funny, Sanu is having a great time watching, recording, and cheering on his teammates, but no one ever catches Sanu getting into anything. DQ is impressed with the rookie class. He said they are getting on board quickly, and the mentoring by the veterans is really working out well for them. It sounds like brotherhood is in full force to me. Everyone's strengthening and conditioning is on target. You know from earlier squawks that everyone we've talked about has come into camp in shape or in better shape. True is doing fantastic and may be able to be involved in some type of practice in the next few weeks. He's working really hard and chomping at the bit to be back with his team. Atlanta picked up a friend of Sarkeesian wide receiver Marvin Hall. He played for Sark in 2012 and 2013 at the University of Washington. Speaking of Sark and relationships, DQ said that Matt Ryan is one of the easiest guys to communicate with, easy to listen to, understand what he's communicating, and always welcoming feedback and input from others. So he and Sark are off to a great relationship already. With the first week of OTAs not being able to have OTAs last week, because of some ridiculous violation punishment, everyone was still working. You notice a ton of guys were at the branch last week while the coaches were inside making plans. In February, the coaching staff gave each player a point of attack film, which they will all start working on next week. On the other side, Rocky was enjoying, enjoying game night, hanging out with Poole and True at the house. Jesser, Jarius Norwood, former Falcon, Cheerleaders, Duke, Turbo, Josh Harris, DJ, and Garland were among others that participated in the 10th Fishing with the Falcons, which is a fishing competition partnered with Wounded Warriors. Obviously, team up, go out on a boat, similar to the rookies this week with the ping pong tournament, and really working with these Wounded Warriors and having a great time out on Lake Lanier and the sun and fishing. So, I'm so amazed and so happy to support a team that does so much to give back every week. Now, do you want to see some Falcons live? June 14th, minicamp is open to the public on that Wednesday only. Gates open at 1, practice starts at 2.05. And in only 100 days, which seems like a long time, but not so bad, Falcon football! Get ready, everybody. It is almost here. So with that, everybody have a wonderful weekend, and thanks for tuning in, and be sure to be sure to stay in the fast lane and set your Twitter and Periscope notifications so you do not miss an episode on FASN. Forever, rise up. Falcon Alley, out.